I don't think, you know, the thought of love and peace is ever out of fashion. Um, of course, I've had to deal with, you know, people say, well, there always has been war, there always will be war, you can't stop that. Um, that doesn't mean you can't work towards your ideal. Give me love, give me love, give me peace on earth, give me light, give me life. An ideal, that's what some people think of world peace. It's just an abstract concept, impossible to achieve. However, Tucson artist Catherine Jostin believes dreams, even global ones, come true when people work together. That's why she started the Global Art Project in 1994. The project facilitates the free exchange of artwork by adults and children, professionals and amateurs alike, created to express a vision of global harmony, crossing all borders, real and imagined. We match individuals to individuals and groups to groups. And in March, each participant creates a work of art expressing their vision of global unity. In April, they share their artwork somehow with their community. And the last week of April, each participant exchanges their art with the person they were matched with, so that simultaneously around the world, all of these visions of global unity are encircling the Earth. The first exhibition of the Global Art Project, held at the Tucson Museum of Art, contains only a few pieces of original work, because the art, of course, goes to the participants. However, letters, photographs, copies of the work, and gleeful streamers of hands, the outlined hands of artists from the 1998 exchange, form a colorful installation of international goodwill. A little boy in Massachusetts sent a letter that I think really expresses the idea of why we see people, you know, the image of people holding hands over and over. He says, I drew a picture of the earth and then a bunch of different types of people, short, tall, white, black, holding hands around the world. Holding hands is a sign of peace. People can't fight if they're holding hands. So I think that beautifully expresses why we see so many of the images um, of people holding hands. And I think also why people get into um, creating all the hands that they send in. When I send out the flyer for them to create the hands, uh, I titled it, Let's All Join Hands. And I think, it, you know, it's a very symbolic way of showing that by doing the Global Art Project, all their energy is coming together. And it's a form, a symbolic form of all holding hands. Catherine Jostin hopes the exhibition offers others a taste of the inspiration she receives from the global network. This artwork is from um, a group of, um, a youth group in Sarajevo, Bosnia. It says, don't forget what happened to us and don't let the same thing happen to you. And um, the letter from the students say, we young people from CRS Art Club in Sarajevo were so lucky to experience the war and so now we know what peace really is. Many things so ordinary to other people represent peace to us. Street lights, trams, clean city, food, electricity, water. That's why we send you photos of our city. For four years, we have lived closed in a kind of ghetto without communications with the world outside. So we tried to show you at least a bit of what our everyday life is. We would be happy if you write us back. And then they all signed the letter. The volunteer-run Global Art Project started with 3,600 participants in 1994. The last exchange involved over 20,000 people from six continents. Global Art Project 2000 happens this spring and promises to keep Catherine Jostin and her volunteers more than busy. It's outgrown her apartment and she's looking for a permanent home for the project. But despite the difficulties with fundraising and administration, she's urging more people to get involved and send a stranger an image of peace. We're so used to having um, fighting and wars that we think, well, that's the way it is. It always has been that way, it always will be that way, but I don't think that needs to be the future. I think that we can take that evolutionary leap and imagine, hey, what would happen if we all lived in harmony, if we all lived in cooperation?